guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Empress Issue 1. So let's start talking about this issue. Before I start dis uh, discussing this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 141, and that show will review all the comics I read this week in one show, and here are the exclusive comics. We have Miss Fury Issue 1, Spider-Man 2099 Issue 9, Darkness Hope One-Shot Issue 1, the Fix Issue 1, Eight Seal Issue 5, Grim Fairy Tales Issue 121, Green Lantern Issue 51, what else? We have Inferno Resurrection Issue 2, Green Arrow Issue 51, Black Widow Issue 2, Invincible Iron Man Issue, what are we up to? Issue 8, Bloodlines Issue 1, Vampirella Issue 2, Archie Issue 7, Injustice Gods Among Us Year 5 Issue 7, and Detective Comics Issue 51. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know Episode 141, which is annotated. But let's start talking about Empress Issue 1. Uh, so this is a book I was really looking forward to. I love Mark Millar's writing and uh, really enjoy Stuart, hopefully like, pronounces the last name right, uh, Imanon. Imanon? Um, I enjoy his artwork also, so I was looking forward to this book and I like the concept of this mother not liking her husband and, and wanting to run away with her children in this kind of spacey type world. Uh, so let's start talking about the cover first. Uh, really enjoy the cover. Uh, gives you the concepts, gives us our main characters, the husband. Here we have the, the helper on the side and our main character in the middle. Uh, so great artwork there and uh, beautiful artwork uh, for this book especially the close-ups. Um, really like the, the face, uh, face details here, facial expressions. Um, I like the coloring. Coloring is really well done. So overall, artwork was really well done for this book. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed that. Let's see if I enjoyed the story. So with this issue, like I said, we get to see our main character, who's this wife of this emperor from a long time ago, before humans even existed. There's this society. Um, I don't know if it gives it a name of the society, but you see there's dinosaurs and everything, and it looks like more of a high-tech society back uh, back way when, and I guess you're curious, like, how did this society get destroyed and, you know, humans take its place? Um, but yeah, so this empress, she's like all glamified with this helmet thing that you see in, in on the cover, uh, but she takes it off and says, hey, I need to run, and uh, it seems like she's been planning this for a while, and uh, most of the kids are okay with it, except the eldest who says, you know, I'm still my father's daughter. I, I, we can't go. But in the long run, they end up all going because, you know, they, people are trying to hunt them down. Um, and what's also interesting here is we actually see some flashbacks of how this woman met uh, the leader. And then we get to the present where she's running away. So it seems like we're going to get even more flashbacks uh, as the series goes on. And now it's going to be the husband hunting for his children and uh, especially his children, not really his wife. He just asked for his children. Uh, so what do I think of the overall issue? Um, I thought this was a pretty solid start. Um, I, I kind of wish we got into the minds of the characters a little bit more. Um, I wanted to love these characters, but I, I do think they're likable. And the main character, um, well, I will say this whole issue is very action-packed. It's very plot-driven of, hey, I need to get away. Um, but it looks like in issues to come, we will get to see more character-driven stuff of, again, how she met her husband, um... And, I mean, you get a little hint of why she wanted to leave in the first place. Uh, but I think there's going to be some interesting twists and turns with the children, especially the eldest child who wants to kind of be on the side of her father. So I'm curious about that, if she will, like, tell her father where they're at. Uh, so there's some definitely interesting story to come, I think, with the series. And I thought it was a pretty good issue one, a solid issue. So I gave it four stars. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, this is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.